Go. Hi, my name is John Gibbons. I'm a sports osteopath and I run a company called JohnGibbonsBodyMaster.co.uk. Today I'm going to teach you how to do uh, an alternative technique for the knee. So if you've got like an anterior knee pain, then I'm going to use kinesiology tape. In this case, I'm sponsored by Rock Tape, so I'm going to use this brand, which I like very well. And um, what we're going to do is have a knee deflection. So a patient presents with all of yourself, you're an athlete, and you want to learn how to self tape. I'm going to use two bits of tape to start with. So I'm going to roughly take the measurement from the distal part here, which is the tibial tuberosity, to sort of distal quadricep. So it'll be that sort of distance. And then we're going to apply two of them. So I'm just going to literally just peel that back and then take that rough measurement. I'm going to round these ends because we advised you can leave a tape on for three to five days. And if you have a corner, a corner can peel, and if it peels, it will lift. And then you might as well just take it off. And then I'm also now going to change the tape from an eye strip, which is what you see, to a Y strip. So I'm going to cut that down the center, try to have equal fingers if you can. To the first square, if you're wondering how far to cut, the tape does have a tendency to, to stick very well. And round these ends, so there's one end rounded, and then there's the other end rounded. And then I'm going to just quickly do the same on this one. So cut all the way up. Just bear in mind that the knee typically is the weak link in the chain. And what I mean by that is, you need to look at the ankle and the hip and the pelvis to make sure that the knee is purely not the symptoms, because most of the time it is. So we've got two eye strips prepared into a Y strip. Now, first of all, it doesn't matter the direction of the tape, it's the tension of the tape that matters. So what we're gonna do first of all is split each finger. Apply this to the tibial tuberosity, just slightly inferior. So there's no stretch on the ends, so stick that down. So that's the first bit done. Now bend the knee to 90 degrees, and then these fingers, which are now separate, you can now peel, and then you can literally, there's the patella. So this one's gonna go lateral to the patella, and finish like so. And then this one is gonna go medial to the patella, no stretch. It's very tempting to stretch this tape. And then cross over, so they cross over like so. That's part one done. Now the second one, split each of the fingers and apply that roughly where the first tape finished. And then what I suggest you do in this one is no stretch at 90 degrees, just mold it and overlap it a little bit. And the same on this side. So we pull it and it causes a lift. So overlap it just a few millimeters and then it finishes roughly there. You can leave it like that if you want to. And if I have my legs straight, you'll probably see some creases in the tape. But what I suggest is, with a smaller bit of tape, especially if you've got pain slightly inferior, to have a smaller piece, and then cut the ends. So we have what we call a decompression strip. So it's that size, give or take. And then you have a choice. You can have a split one end and tension it, or we can split it in the center and then peel it back one end, peel it back, and then bend the knee at 90, directly patella tendon or tibial tuberosity, pre-tension the tape, 50 to 75%, directly over, stick down one side, stick down the other side. Remember there's no stretch on the ends, feed out one end, feed out the other end. So it's almost like medial ligament to lateral ligament. Now we're back in the tape, just for a few seconds, be careful on the corners. You can mold that. And then this would work very well in water, so if you're a triathlete, so it tends to work better than the zinc oxide type of tape in. Rock tape has a 180% stretch, so it tends to, to work very well. My name is John Gibbons, and there we have kinesiology tape in, self-application for the athlete or the student or physical therapy.